Welcome to our Ash Wednesday service. Ash Wednesday is the start of the 40 days of Lent, a time of preparing for Easter, a time for inner reflection and repentance, and a time to look deep within ourselves and find ways to respond to God's grace. On Ash Wednesday in the sanctuary, we have had for the past several years a service of stations, seven, six or seven spots around the sanctuary where one may go to uh, read scripture, engage in a time of reflection, and do a specific action. In this recorded service, you'll be hearing the words for three stations, invited to reflection, and then action. I'm grateful to uh, Becky Graber and Susie Cooley for assisting me in this service. Let us join together in the unison call to worship. May we tear our hearts and not our garments. In this worship, may we return to the Lord, our God, for the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit. God will not reject a broken and repentant heart. Let us examine our ways and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God. Amen. Before we hear our three uh, stations of reflection, let us join together in this unison prayer. Holy God, deepen our connection with you this Lent. Teach us to be reconciled with one another and to love you with profound joy. Lead us into a simplicity of faith. May we feel called to repentance. May we be strengthened in temptation and may we be renewed in grace. Amen. Light. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. From the Gospel of Matthew. Do you bring the light of God in Christ with you? when you enter into a conversation or a meeting? Have you hidden your God-given light under a bushel? At home, you are invited to light a candle. And the invitation is to focus on the light. This is the light of Christ within you, within you. And after this service, when you extinguish the candle, place the unlit candle somewhere where you will see it often. May it remind you that the light of Christ burns within you this Lent and always. Forgiveness, from Matthew's Gospel. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. From Romans, we have all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Jesus took the punishment each of us deserves. From Ephesians, in him we have redemption through the blood the forgiveness of sins because of the death and resurrection of Jesus. For our reflection, it is important to forgive others as we have been forgiven. With the grace and mercy shown to us by God, we are able to start anew with God 
and with each other. When we repent, we are given full forgiveness of our sins because of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Reflect upon and appreciate the forgiveness that we receive through the sacrifice of Jesus and God's great love of us. Think about how we must forgive others for their trespasses against us so we can be worthy vessels of God's grace and love. From Philippians, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And from the prophet Joel, yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Tear your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Scripture tells us to return to the Lord. The word repentance means literally to turn, to change direction. What in your life is God calling you to repent from, to turn away from? And what actions, thoughts, prayers might God be calling you toward? Be still in this time with God.
Let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now to end this service, which marks the beginning of Lent, let us join together in these unison words of benediction. Holy God, deepen our connection with you this Lent. Teach us to be reconciled with one another and to love you with profound joy. Lead us into a simplicity of faith. May we feel called to repentance. May we be strengthened in temptation. And may we be renewed in grace. Amen.